have a borderline reaction. Increase the depth pressure. Depth pressure. 1.4. 1.6. MBR ready. Area is confirmed. Initiating mental control release. No. No. Does it hurt? It's all right. It's all right. Ready to complete termination of prime objective. DiCapri! <laughs> Killer B! Please stop it! He'll land you! He'll destroy every part of you! Kill you! I knew it. He can't control you! Control! You don't know anything! You liar! I hate you! Hate you! Hate you! Hate you! I hate you! I hate your face! I will kill you for it! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Kill you! Kill you! But you're... This was never coincidence. <laughs> She's going to die. Don't you dare. But perhaps some kind of bargain could be made. Does it hurt? It's all right. It's all right. Spending your last moment staring into your own face. Interesting. Another international fighting tournament. And it looks like SIN is behind this one. Can't shake the feeling that something sinister is happening behind the scenes. <laughs> this all feels so familiar. I must be on my guard. Fighting always feels familiar to me. Like coming home. Probably because I've been doing it since I was a child. The fight is a form of communication. It can lead to understanding. It holds a meaning deeper than mere words. Looks like I'll be sparring with a lot of fighters this time. And I expect I'll meet some old friends again as well. Interacting with these fighters will guide me further down the path of becoming the ultimate warrior. This place hasn't changed. In my travels, I fought many formidable opponents. I'm curious, have I become stronger thanks to them? Adorkin! <laughs> Till 
next time. Yeah, everything's going great. What about you? How'd the test go? <laughs> great. Listen, take it easy, okay? When you go down steps, make sure you... What? Oh, I read in a baby book. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll back off. I love you too, Eliza. I'll call you again later. Just think. Me. <laughs> Dad. It feels like I'm dreaming. I guess it'll all feel pretty real once he's born, though. You and I used to just be plain old fighters, didn't we, Ryu? Then I up and got married, and now I'm on the road to fatherhood. I wish I could say I felt the same now as I did when we trained together. But things will definitely change from here on out. I'm feeling pretty strange here, Ryu. Change is good, but it can be scary, too. What advice you'd have for me? Guess I'll just ask you in person. <laughs> He's so small. Congratulations, Mom. We were waiting for you, kiddo. Welcome to the Masters family. Well, that's strange. I boarded what I thought was a ship to America in order to spread the joys of sumo. I wonder where I ended up. <sighs> Whatever. The best way to make new sumo fans all over the world is to show them the real deal up close and personal. Then they'll see how fun it is. Go for it. Step into the ring. Attack me as a group if you want. I'm game. <laughs> this is my first time on the international circuit, and it's a blast! If I keep this up, I'm bound to earn tons of fans! <laughs> oh dear, where'd that big lug get off to this time? This is no good! Hey, you two! I don't see Honda around. You didn't let him wander off again, did you? The only way to get sumo in the Olympics is to join the committee myself. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was so looking forward to training camp. And now they tell us we can only choose between a boring mountain and an even more boring forest? The only people out there are ghosts! This sucks! I mean, a girl only gets one chance at her youth! I have a right to get out there and meet cool guys! Hey, I've got an idea! I'll just make like I'm headed off to camp, but slip out and have a little fun! <laughs> this is the best idea ever! Sarai? Yeah, listen, I'm gonna be late for camp. I'll meet up with you part way, though, okay? Cover for me, will ya? Yeah, just say whatever you think they'll want to hear. Please, Sarai. Awesome! I'll grab you a souvenir, okay? I promise. Look out, all you handsome guys! Here I come! Ninja skills to work. 
So, that's the plan for today. Practicing throwing off pursuers utilizing rivers followed by nighttime drills without the aid of blades or explosives. You'll all need to check over your equipment first and... Over there! Ah! Man, I knew this place would be old, but no one told me it'd be downright ancient. This is no good. I better do something to save this dojo and quick. It could collapse at any minute. The world's most furious fighters will be at this tournament. That must mean the prize money is a pretty penny. That cash could be just what we need. It could fix up the dojo in no time. All right then, here I go. Be careful up there, sis. That's a big drop. Man, looks like I screwed up this time. I beat the pants off the other fighters in the tournament, but walked away empty-handed. I was happy to fight such strong opponents and all, but I'd be happier if I managed to make a little pocket money. It's just my luck. Yeah, I think I'll lay off the get-rich-quick schemes and try to make money the old-fashioned way from here on in. Like, maybe... Maybe if I could get this old window con dojo back up and running, maybe I could make a name for myself. Uh, uh, uh! Another mess I've got myself into. An international fighting tournament. Hmm. I'm not one to turn down a good bout, but I find this invitation to be lacking in the social graces. This garden could use some new roses, couldn't it? Perhaps this is a good time to embark on a trip after all. Mr. Gotch, prepare a reply to this invitation at once. I could use something to get my mind off that blasted missing car anyway. It was an eventful journey, to be sure, but I was unable to procure the new roses I was after. It is a shame, sir. Hmm? What's this? Hmm. It appears to be a wild rose. But how did it get here? This is simply exquisite, Mr. Gotch. Hmm. No matter what great strides mankind has made in design, nothing compares to the beauty of a natural flower. But of course, sir. Jury, that power, that eye, she's no ordinary fighter. She is an untamed animal who seeks to destroy and consume all that enters her sight. And that includes me. Still, as long as I can manipulate her like a pawn in my grand game, I shall leave her to her own devices. She has altered her own body in her insatiable quest for power. She respects no law, no morality. 
She does whatever it takes to achieve her goals and quench her limitless thirst. In that way, she's no different from me. Of course, all of humanity walks that path, whether they admit it or not. Strip away the restrictions of law and common decency, and it becomes clear that the engine that drives humanity is their own selfish ambition. To achieve one's own goals necessitates trampling those of others underfoot. Yet mankind is all too anxious to label those who would do so as evil. What tragic irony. Humanity's defeat at my hands will serve to strengthen me. I will be baptized in the fire of their unabashed ambition and be born anew, ready to usher in a new age, free from the restrictions of artificial morality. <laughs> I can then hunt down this emotionless animal for sport and put her down for good. Show yourself, Jury! Shadaloo murdered your parents and took your eye, but they are no more. Are you through with your foolish games now, woman? Let's just say I'm almost through. If you're planning to take down me as well as Bison, I'm afraid you've overestimated yourself. Or perhaps... You've just come here to test me. Nah, I'll pass. I get the feeling I'll have more fun working for you. Really? Then do what you will. I certainly hope I live up to your expectations, my dear. Ryu is completely dedicated to his journey of self-improvement. Ken shows great flexibility in his dealings with what comes his way. Their personalities could not be more different, yet they got along so swimmingly during their training. After so many years, their relationship remains strong. <laughs> yet I draw no satisfaction from simply observing them. How I long to engage them in the ring once again. It is time to go. I've heard tell of a myriad of young fighters emerging these days. And I also hear that a tournament is being held to assemble the world's greatest. Perhaps this will give me a chance to see how far my dear pupils have advanced. I shall test their strength myself. Master! Master Gokin! I know you can hear me. Master! Just slow down, will ya? Give us a break, Master. Trying to just disappear without saying goodbye again? T tell him, Ryu. Oh, okay. It was good to see you again, Master. Oh, man. Why do you call me that? You're both grown men now. You hardly need a master. Or would you rather I order you to the well to gather water? <laughs> yeah, that was hard work. <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs>
Kia Kuretsuha! Alone in the darkness, surrounded by the voices of the dead. Again, the same dream. <laughs> what foolishness! No matter the ferocity of your anger or contempt for me, there's nothing you can do to hurt me. You lost that right the instant I stared death in the face. Turned my back. You are powerless against me now. I live to fight. Death's embrace is my ultimate destiny. As long as blood courses through my veins, I shall not succumb to the likes of you. I will not allow the putrid dead to so much as touch me. It was a vicious fight indeed. Each man was prepared to give up the ghost in what was to be their ultimate battle. Now it is time for me to return to my own fight to the death. The only reason I still draw breath. <laughs> my journey has not yet ended. That's right! The Psycho Dojo is now accepting applicants. Witness the Psycho Arts as developed by world famous fighter Dan Hibiki. Everyone from high school hotties to Brazilian beastmen have benefited from his awesome instruction. Get in on the ground floor of the hottest martial art ever devised. Dan Hibiki has won fans the world over, earning stardom not just from his skills, but from his incredible good looks and personality. Don't pass up on this chance to take orders directly from this superstar demigod. Act now and receive a 50% discount on your enrollment fee. But wait, that's not all. Mention this ad when you apply and receive a Psycho t-shirt and a pair of tree trimming shears absolutely free. Wear the shirt while you trim trees and you'll be beating the neighborhood cougars off with a stick. Don't wait, call to, uh, Actually, just drop right on in! Hello? What the? Uh, Hibiki-san! What happened? Are you okay? No one. Huh? No new applicants! Not one! And I did that rag commercial and everything! Was it the time slot? 3 a.m. too late? Should I include some, some miracle detergent or something? Uh... Hibiki-san, you told people to come to the dojo to apply. Well, that's not my fault. My phone service got cut. No, I mean, you didn't include an address or anything in the commercial. So exactly how are people supposed to find you? Uh. <laughs> Date, 25th. Weather, sunny. Today's training regimen, 100 laps around the deck, 500 push-ups, 500 pull-ups, 500 sit-ups, and 800 squats. Um, what else was there? Oh yeah, I swabbed the decks, cooked dinner for the whole crew, and then there was that arm wrestling tournament with Hibiki-san, Blanca, and the captain. <laughs> that was a blast. Have I really gotten stronger? Am I closer to my goal of getting strong like him? Like I used to wish for? He's out there somewhere. Under these same stars. It doesn't matter though. I'll get to see him soon enough at the tournament. Hang on Ryu-san. I'll be there before you know it. Hope you're ready to fight! Thank you so much, Ryu-san. It was really awesome getting to fight you again. Yeah, you too. Let's do it again soon. Alright! Hey, Sakura! 
Better get on board before we leave you behind, kid! Uh, I I'm coming! Well, bye then. Take care. Bye! We'll meet again! I promise! You got strong. Better than last time, Elena. I'm proud. The... I don't know. The tree. I suppose you've already sensed it. What, father? I have just spoken with the shaman. He says the trees have been making strange noises. A bringer of death walks among us. And he sows his seeds of sadness across the world. A person who brings death? We believe this person is associated with this event. Oh? <laughs> Elena, as the head of our tribe, I'm entering you in this tournament. You are to walk in this world of fighters. Observe them and seek out the truth. Father, it's too dangerous to send her. I understand. Brother, I'll be fine. Mm. I have faith in you. Go and find the answers that we seek. Good luck. had to fight at the beginning, but they are still very nice. I've realized that these feelings of closeness... <laughs> if I can become friends with these people, then I can become friends with anybody. Father, I want to travel. I want to see everything there is to see in the world. I want to meet people from every country there is. Finally! I have found what I've been searching for! For my next trip, I shall be going to Japan! Feeling she'd go chasing some adventure before long. Well, who do you suppose she's gone off to fight anyway? Must be a pretty big fish to be worth her while. 
I've never seen her lose to anyone around here, that's for sure. Whoever she's after, they must be crazy strong. What do you think, Yang? Smell an adventure here? <laughs> Don't worry about it, bro. I'm just gonna keep an eye on her and see what she's up to. Of course, if someone starts something, I'm happy to teach him a lesson. Or two. <laughs> Whew. What an adventure. I don't really get the whole world domination angle. But you gotta admit, we got to see a lot of cool places, huh? Sure it was fun, Yoon. But we're almost home. Better start thinking up some kind of explanation. And fast. An explanation? Hey! Hmm? You two! Yoon and Yang! What were you thinking just disappearing without telling anyone? Well? Crap! It's Hoi Mei! Don't you run away from me! Hey! All right. <laughs> Come on, give me a break, Yang! Ow, ow, hey, Come hey, with me, ow. young man. Your uncles are gonna want to have a word with you. Oh, 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 oh. oh dang, hey, that smarts. My assignments lately couldn't be more boring. You know, if you don't find some way to occupy me, I might have to sneak off and find my own fun things to do. <laughs> Please, that's not a threat, that's a promise. Uh, I don't think we need to resort to that. Well, I wish you'd open your mouth quicker if you have news like that. Don't keep me in the dark. Ooh, the tournament, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, just to make sure, this thing isn't subject to any rules now, is it? Hmm. Now that sounds like something I can sink my teeth into. No hold bar. Ooh, it's just what every girl wants. <laughs> Are you satisfied? You witch. I knew all along that you had no intention of following my orders. I was well aware of your impending betrayal. <laughs> You're giving yourself way too much credit. Defeating you was nothing but an added bonus. I just wanted to pit you idiots against each other while I took over. <sighs> You're nothing but a spare body. A change of clothes and bison's wardrobe. <sighs> you... Good night, sweet prince. Rest in peace. <laughs> wow. Guess I better find a new hobby. Looks like S.I.N. is behind the tournament. And so soon after the Judy incident. Unbelievable. These guys just won't give up, will they? Seth developed Bleas, a terrifying new weapon system. Ever since he managed to escape, I knew I'd cross his path again one day. But I never imagined that he'd hold a fighting tournament. Considering SIN's connections to Shadaloo, there's a good chance I could find some clues about my father. Father, I wish I knew more about you. Even though I'll never see you again, I want to know about your struggle, your fight, your last moments. Please keep an eye on me, Father. I promise I'll put an end to their evil plans. I'll make sure no one else ever has to go through what I did.
You ready? Yeah. You know, everything that I've accomplished in my life, I thought I had done it for my father. But now, I think there was more to it than that. After all is said and done, I think I was also doing it for myself. There's so much more I could be doing. I owe it to myself. That's why I've decided to keep being a cop for now. Sounds good. The men who robbed our village of water, they wore a symbol that resembles that of Shadow. We had thought them to be destroyed, yet I cannot shake the feeling that they still lurk in the shadows, weaving dark and evil plots, preparing for the moment when they will strike again. The power I possess is divine. It is not for mortal men to use for their own simple desires. Yet, I feel compelled to restore hope and vitality to my village by bringing the water back, no matter what the cost. Hear me, Ugg, God of Fire. Watch over me as I in turn watch over those I love. Grant me the strength to vanquish evil. Shadaloo and S-I-N. You toy with life and try to manipulate nature to your own selfish ends. I know that evil will never truly be vanquished from this earth and sometimes seems an endless gaping void, but still, I retain my hope in humanity, for the goodness in mankind's heart is also endless. Hey there, little guy. Let's see if we can't keep you dry for a bit. Where's your mother? I don't see any other dogs around. Hmm. No collar either. All alone, are you? I'll be back as soon as I figure out what Shadowloo is all about. Take care of the little one while I'm away. I'll return once my journey is complete. Then, I can give him a name, buy him a collar, and I... Then, I won't be alone anymore. Thank you for the ride, Chan Li. No problem. So what are you gonna do now? <laughs> what will I do? I've been thinking I might travel once things settle down. There's still a lot of mysteries I need to get to the bottom of. The man who rescued me, the man with my face. But first, I think it's time for me to just head home. Yeah. Well... Good luck, Abel. Good to be home. So they found his body too. That means the whole team pursuing Shadaloo has been wiped out. Of course. My investigation will continue as is. Yes. I'm aware of that. Yes. Yes. Understood. Goodbye. So many have lost their lives at the hands of Shadowloo and S.I.N. They possess weapons and power beyond imagination. And they think very little of human life. They hide in the shadows. Moving in the darkness just outside of you. But they've forgotten one thing. Nothing in this world lasts forever. 
Everything eventually decays and breaks down. I hope you're ready, Seth. And Shadaloo as well. I'm about to pull back the veil and expose you for good. I owe my fallen comrades that much. like a baby, but I've never seen a baby this big before. Mommy, I love you. I love you too, Lauren. <laughs> Fifteen. You are merely a gear in the machine that is my ultimate ambition. I was willing to leave you to your own devices as long as I had a use for you. But I never imagined you would go this far. And that vile woman. To think you managed to add such a valuable pawn to your arsenal. I have little patience for betrayal. I will crush you under the heel of my boot like the vile insect you are. <laughs> you will regret the day you decided to betray me. The marionette who thinks he is a real boy. You have forgotten your place. I don't think you'll be needing this anymore. I didn't realize he was that weak. He sure talked like he was a tough guy. Ooh. Your eye. It was built by 15, wasn't it? Don't know why you're so worried about where it came from. If I were you, I'd be a hell of a lot more concerned about what I'm gonna do to you with it. <laughs> Changed me forever. First, I was racked with anger, humiliation, impatience. All I could think about was drawing stronger and exacting my revenge. However, during my countless battles, I began to catch a glimpse of something the meaning of victory, of defeat, of the fight itself. I want to know. I want to know the ultimate purpose of the fight. My scar burns. My fighting spirit grows restless. What is it you see in the ring? Down, you two. He's only just returned. Don't be a bother. Mm. It's all right. How was your journey? You know, I actually had fun. You actually had fun? Let's just say I met an old friend. I won't be able to see you for a while, I'm afraid. Take good care of yourself now. Do try to stay out of trouble. Shadowloo. S-I-N. They trample on human beings like so much dirt beneath their boots. And now they announce a tournament to assemble the world's greatest fighters? Hmm. 
make no mistake. This time I'll flush you from your hiding places and destroy you. And Judy, I hope you're prepared to feel my hands round your neck. I haven't forgotten about the sisters of mine you hurt. Naughty kitty. How's our patient doing? Any pain or discomfort? Where... Where am I? Don't worry. Amnesia can be alarming. Trust me, I know. But I'm here for you. It's you. Yes. That's right. I'm here to help you. Actually, we'll both be watching over you. <laughs> hey, you looking to fight? Or are you just here to try and rip off this here establishment? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I'll pulverize you either way. Come on! Are you done already, baby? I just can't get into your rhythm. I need something way more exciting than that. Hmm. What's this? A worldwide fighting tournament. Sounds like my kind of fun. You can come back as many times as you want, baby. But you just can't beat me. Wanna know why? Because my rhythm is too funky and fresh for you to deal with. Don't get your panties in a bunch. You'll see me again soon enough. I figured that ridden the city of the Mad Gear would make everybody happy. Not just me. All of us. But this is my reward, huh? Everyone else goes on to live the high life, and I get left behind in a prison cell. A city where no one has to fight. A city free from violence. A city without fear. <laughs> yeah, give me a break. I thought I was fighting for peace in this city. Look where it got me. The drag, man. Would you look at that? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Looks like we're in for a reunion. Maybe this won't be so boring after all. Not you again. The world is simply what it is. This is from the teachings of Bushinryu. Somehow, you rail against this teaching without even knowing it. Cody. You have vanquished a great evil. I believe this means that you must still hold some shred of goodness in your heart. I know that in your soul, there remains a disdain for those who seek destruction. Huh. Nah, he was just in my way, that's all. I took him down because he was bothering me. <sighs> then I take it you have no intention of returning. Returning? Yeah, I'll return all right. To my cell. That's where I belong. Hmm. 
What a shame that a beautiful moonlit night must play host to this feeling of unease. The heroes of this city vanish one by one. In their place crop up dealers of weapons and immoral creatures to prey on the innocents. It pains me to think of the victims of this nightmare city. Those who will never be accounted for, never missed. Their stories will never be told. Yet, when viewed from the lens of history, our struggle is so tiny as to be meaningless. However, I cannot stand idly by and watch as the good suffer and the evil prevail. It is up to me to ensure that our small chapter of history be written by a just and steady hand. The power of Bushinryu shall be my quill. damage. Put the girl down. Put her down and I'll let you walk away. What was that? Don't you dare try anything or I'll use my ninja blades to make short work of you and your vehicle. <sighs> what insolence. Wake up. Don't you dare give in to the specter of death. I won't let you die here. The world needs you, Rose. It's vulnerable without your protection. Rose! Oh. Hold on just one second there, pal. On whose authority did you drag your sorry self here, huh? Surely you know this here is the private residence of Hakan, the oil king of Turkey. Aha! You must be some sort of an industrial spy, is that it? Don't lie to me! That paper you have is all the proof I need. It may look like an ordinary shopping list. But I wasn't born yesterday. It's written in a secret code. Get some fire near it, and the invisible ink shows up, no? You've come to steal my trade secrets, so your two-bit employer can dethrone me and take over my market share. I can't believe I was almost violated by a spy like you. If you thought for one second that this would make me give up my dream of winning a tournament with my very own oil, you are sadly mistaken. It's time to go on the offensive. I devise an oil so magnificent that no one can hope to copy it. This is it. The time has come to cover the world in my oil. Well then, Mr. Honda, let us meet again in your homeland. Huh? Good fight. Just don't expect me to lose next time. Quite a grip on that one, let me tell you. With a grip like that, he could go far in the world of Turkish wrestling. <laughs> and that oily top knot, <laughs> what a character that man is. You know, he made mention of the various oils available in the land of the rising sun. Mm. Ah, there you are. Make preparations at once. We need to go to Japan. It is a fascinating and oily place, populated by sumo wrestlers. This is the first step on my way to becoming the oil king of a new land! <laughs>
mission is nothing less than to save the world. Men, you will push the front and expand the field of battle. With that in mind, each and every one of us will be working hard to increase our fighting skills. Sir, we've just received an urgent piece of intelligence. A private military contractor known as SIM is testing an experimental soldier enhancement system at some sort of fighting tournament. Right then, you hear that? Opportunity has come knocking at our door. Now, our target's at the World Fighting Tournament. Its name is SIN. Their enhancement system will be ours. Every man will be expected to give 110%. Soldiers, move out! Secrets as our own! Spread out! Search the grounds! Sir! After the Federation shut down, this place got. <laughs> if I had the money. I'd definitely go check out the real main event. Hi! Having fun? Pro wrestling is totally stupid and cheesy. So why don't you just dance, girly? I've been promoting you two, so don't embarrass me. It's the moment of truth. Show them what you got. It's not as easy as it sounds, boss. There aren't that many of us, and it's hard to handle all ourselves. I heard that Sodom's already quit the business, gone off to open his own yakitori restaurant or something. You two are such... What are you two little girls gossiping about? Woohoo! Come on! Why don't you dance? Don't hold back! Try and take me! No! <laughs> Interesting. Maybe there'll be some fresh fighting talent. Maybe I'll go do a little scouting. <laughs> Today's the day I turn my life around. I've got a great plan. And believe me, nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> Thinking. I was so confused. But now. 
This is it. This huddle. It... It grants me power. Incredible power. My name is Ryu, and the ultimate power has awakened within me. with us. Bison has summoned you. What the... Organization has cost more lives than anyone can count on their rise to power. They've killed cops, soldiers. God only knows how many civilians have fallen due to their actions. Not to mention all the martial artists that were kidnapped and murdered at the hands of Shadaloo's pet organization, S.I.N. Those men and women had children. They had families. They had friends. I'll make those bastards pay, Charlie. I'll destroy every last branch of their organization. I'll expose every evil act they've committed upon this Earth. I promise, Charlie. Their days are numbered! It's been a while since I've been here, Charlie. Sorry. I hope this makes you feel better. We managed to put an end to SIN's plans. But still, something tells me we haven't seen the last of Shadaloo just yet. It's not time for a toast just yet, old friend. The day will come when our mission is complete. a better man. I'm gonna win this tournament. If I win, I can earn everyone's respect. Mama will be so proud. Mama always takes such good care of me. Most people are scared of me. But not her. I want to make Mama happy. After all, she's already done that for me. I'll come back a new man, Mama. One you can't be proud of. Just you wait and see. Jimmy! You have company! What company? That's right. These folks saw the article about you and wanted to meet you in person. Me? Well, Jimmy. Looks like we finally made some friends. Why don't you bring some fruit for our guests? I'll go put some tea on. <sighs> <laughs> ah, just look at all this snow! 
I'll never be able to make it as a Mother Russia in time for the International Fighting Tournament. I won't let anything stop me. The Red Cyclone is going to the tournament one way or another. And he's going to win! No matter how small the voices of support, it is wrestler's duty to never betray his fans. I will put smiles on the faces of the children of my homeland. I will show them what hard work and ingenuity can accomplish. Hear me, young men of Mother Russia. The Red Cyclone will not let you down! Mother Russia, and for my fans, Ultimate Atomic Buster! Oh yeah! Zangief is the best! We love you, Zangief! Phew! Man, why they gotta have these fight tournaments out of the boonies anyways? <laughs> At this rate, I'll get so much exercise just getting there that I'll end up losing weight and end up looking like some kind of wimp. <laughs> hey, you know, I bet that jerk is behind all of this. It's some kind of conspiracy. Yeah, and speaking of you-know-who, another one of his lookalikes tried to step up to me the other day. Just how low. Is he willing to sink anyway? I mean, how can they just call him the number one fighter in America? Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. I'm number one around here. Uh, but uh, I got too much class to break like that, though. It's you, Candy. With you around, honey pants, I let my mouth run off. And maybe I say too much sometimes. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, baby. Get my hands sweating and I'll end up losing control of this here bike. <laughs> you're the best girl in America. But nah, in the world. I screw that. You're the best in the freaking universe. <laughs> if I had to sum you up in just one word, I'd say you're super hot and sexy gorgeous tastic, I would. <laughs> what do you say we uh, pit stop for lunch in the next place? Come to think of it, I'm not really seeing any restaurants around here. I don't think I seen a single friggin' building today, actually. Man, we must really be in the middle of friggin' nowhere. I mean, the gas station in the was pretty clear, right? I mean, he said, go straight to the intersection, then turn where the white dog is sitting, right? But the dog was just like taking a catnap in the middle of the road. How was I supposed to know which way to go? And who ever heard of a dog that sleeps flat on its back like that anyway? That must have been Ken Masters. He totally knew I would whip his butt in a tournament, so he tried to sabotage me. Oh, you rude this day, Ken Masters. Roar! Hmm. Where'd you say you pushed this thing from? I mean, geez, <laughs> this is one heavy bag. I doubt I could get it a couple hundred feet myself. Well, my Rufus ain't no ordinary man. He's the best fighter in America, you know. And he's a gentleman. Pushing me around is no big deal to him, right, Rufus? Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh. Ah. That's right. When I get serious, I could push a bike like that around the world seven times over. Of course, I rolled up my sleeve and fixed her a while back. She can go anywhere now, but uh, just riding around ain't gonna give me the thrills I'm after. Oh, Rufus, I just adore ya! Vroom, vroom, vroom. Time to hit the road, Candy. Where you wanna go? Hmm, let me see. I'm getting a little tired of this desert heat. Got it! Wanna check out the North Pole, baby? I like the way you think, Puddin' Pants. That's the greatest idea I've ever heard. I know, right? But I've never 
never been to the North Pole before. You know how to get there, baby? Come on, Candy. That's a no-brainer. All we gotta do is head due north. We can't go any further north than the North Pole, right? Wow, you're like some kind of genius. The ultimate fighter deserves the ultimate menu. But the road to culinary perfection is long and fraught with peril. Great dangers and trials await, but they will only make me stronger. Many obstacles and walls stand in my path, but I will climb over them, destroy them, lay waste to them, for I am a fighter! I will face underappreciation, bear the weight of oppression upon my shoulders, and will make new friends and hold discussions with them over fine food. No matter what, I will always whip up a meal for my adversaries! <laughs> All it takes is a can-do attitude and a burning passion to conquer adversity. I will reach my goal. I will ascend into the night sky and reach the stars of ultimate delicacy! <laughs> So what the heck is this green liquid supposed to be? <laughs> well... This is a great new ingredient that a sumo wrestler friend told me about on my journey. It's called... Aujiro. It's packed with nutrients and keeps both the body and the mind healthy. It's clearly green, but the Japanese call it blue juice for some reason. Are these? Spare me the explanation, Professor. Why the heck are you putting it in chili soup? You sure you're even supposed to heat that stuff up? Huh? Oh. What are you, Poco Loco? Adding one delicious thing to another delicious thing always equals more deliciousness. Are you cooking or doing algebra? I'm not sure I trust either in your hands. Aha! I got it! I bet if I made it a little bit sweeter, it'd go down a lot easier. I just had some chocolate I got from that French mercenary. <laughs> You're just gonna make it worse! Hmm. If it isn't Bison's little toy, he goes to such great lengths for power, as if his current body weren't ugly enough. I must admit, I'll never understand the men like him. Still... I admit, I'm intrigued by the idea of creating new bodies to inhabit. Too bad not even a god could reproduce a body as beautiful and graceful as my own. <laughs> You ugly creature, you. Soon your power will be mine. Then I can ensure that my beauty will live on forever. Pull this off, 
I'll be on Easy Street forever! Hey! Yes? What can you do, anyway? Like what? If you're supposed to be a replacement body for him, you gotta do something. Can you fly or see the future or what? I I'm sorry. By myself, I... You can't do nothing by yourself, huh? Even more worthless than I thought. <laughs> well, I saved you. So you better do something for me. Let's see. We have the men who attacked our production crew. Someone pressured the film sponsors to pull out. And the scandal resulting from the script that they're a little too close to home. They all point to the same thing. The arms company SIN and its devious CEO, Seth. You use intimidation and even murder to get your way. But I'll put a stop to that. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't worry about me. I simply cannot cower and hide in the shadows when I can do something about this. I promise I'll return in time for the shoot. Let the crew know I'll be back. Halo. It's you. Your name was Abel, right? Listen, I had a talk with your manager. He told me you're investigating Seth and his recent demise. I am. Why? Do you have information for me? That depends. I want to make sure you know what you're getting into. SIN's relationship with Shadowloo is dangerous. Deadly, even. <laughs> Not a problem. You know, I had a feeling you'd say that. So let's get down to business. Where should I begin? Our village has yet to reach its former greatness. Yet it warms my heart to see our sacred land on the way to recovery. People abound, and the voices of children echo among us. The village elder has proposed making me chief, though I am not yet worthy. I cannot bear that mantle. I must forgive my own transgressions to reach that plateau, for I was unable to rescue my darling Julia. I have lost her to the sands of time. Wait for me, Julia. I will retrieve that which I have lost and return victorious to our sacred land! I am so sorry. She is a shell of her former self. If that is not enough to dissuade you, I will tell you where she is. Looking outside again, as if she's waiting for someone. She must really believe that someone will come for her. She's lost her memories, her ability to speak, to laugh. She can't even cry. And yet, hope remains. Nothing can take that away. a sniveling coward. I had so much respect for you, but now you are a tiger with no fangs.
death awaits jaguars and tigers who have lost their fangs. When the mere act of living is humiliating, you're finished. Have you forgotten even that much? You've thrown away your pride as a Muay Thai boxer, folded up your claws and called it quits. If that's what's become of you, I'll put you out of your misery myself. Your time in the spotlight is over! Ha! You fought well, but make no mistake. You have been declawed and dethroned. <laughs> I will never become what you have, Sagat. I will destroy all who climb into the ring with me. I will show the world the power of Muay Thai. And most importantly, I will show them that my skills in the art are without equal. <laughs> No matter how many times I attempt to read the future, the answer is always the same. Only the fool card can stand up to him. It is the card of freedom and beginnings, the card of reckless heroism. I may be able to stop him temporarily, but I simply cannot destroy him. For I hold the same power inside me that Bison has. The fate of this card lies in the hands of one man. But he cannot act until the stars align to herald his coming. I can only protect him, guide him, offer aid in his quest to destroy Bison. This will be my last mission. feeling about this. Something tells me that brother of mine is gonna follow her. And off he goes. Can't say I blame him. I'll admit I'm a little curious too. After all, anyone worth Chun Li's time must be a heck of a fighter. I've only ever lost to you and uncles. But there are bound to be even stronger warriors out there. Come to think of it. This could be the chance I've been waiting for. I'll finally get to test my strength for real. Yang! Chun-Li? Leaving already? Yep. <laughs> I heard you took off without telling anyone. You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Already did. But it was a good experience. I never would have gotten to fight such strong opponents if I'd stayed in this town. <laughs> good for you. So, this is goodbye. I need to pay my respects to Master Lee. I just want to say thanks again for your help, both of you. No problem. You can always count on us, Chen Li. Stop by any time. Don't hold my bro's screw-ups against us. He's a bit slow. Dude! What was that? <laughs> we'll meet again. Bye now. Hmm. 
That's a promise. We have multiple reports of gang violence. Stand by. Witnesses report ex-members of the Mad Gear gang. A turf war seems to be taking place. We want the big guy! I want my mama's potatoes! Potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> You go? This, this dirt, dirt is, is very cool. cool. But look! What but comes from it grows nice and big. big. Like, like you. Grow big, big like, like a potato. potato! Hey! Why don't you get up and fight, you blockhead? Or are you just gonna sit there? Like a... Potato! Are you supposed to make fun of potatoes? I'll show you who is number one in the world! Mama! I'll become the big potato! Well, you've certainly gotten a lot stronger. Ugh. Hugo, do you want to work with me? No! I'm not taking orders anymore! But I can help make you into a superstar! We'd be partners. I mean, you're strong and all, but you got the smarts of a potato. Uh? You grow big like a potato. All right, I get it. Do what you gotta do. Guess I'm gonna take off then. If I stay any longer, I'll turn into a potato. <laughs> Poison! You think that I'm a potato? Uh, well. I guess you kind of look like a potato. I mean, you're big and... Ah! Whoa there, what do you think you're doing? Put me down! Put me down now! No, I'm not taking any more orders! What orders? You're not making any sense! What are you talking Boys about? Boys can become a potato too! Uh, what do you mean a <laughs> potato too? Well... You and me, we're going to be number five!
Thanks for playing. Presented by Capcom.